Hello everyone, I am thrilled to have you here with me today. In this video, we are going to install VOS and after that configure OSPF on that. In another videos, I will configure MPLS VPN, PGP and VRF on that router. But before we dive in, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss any of our content. And if you are returning viewer, thank you so much for your ongoing support. Your likes, comments and shares mean the world to me. Let's start. At first, I am going to download VOS installation media from VOS official website. As you can see here, you can find any version of VOS and also you can access to purchase support but I want to download nightly builds because these are latest version of this software. Latest build version is this. These are another versions. Click to download latest version. Ok, VOS installation media downloaded. Now I have to create a virtual machine to install VOS on it. You can also install VOS on your physical server, PC or laptop. Installation process is same as the virtual machine. Create a new VM. Let me check in the installation media is any OVF existed or not. No OVF file here, so I cannot import VM and I need to create a VM and install VOS. Write any name of this virtual machine. Select Linux. Select Data Store. Change Virtual Machine Resources. From CD DVD, select downloaded installation media. Before select, I have to upload it to VMware data store. Select. Select network interface, next, finish, start test virtual machine. Select first option, that will be run VOS live version. Default username is VOS. Default password is VOS. Ok, our router is ready. By using config command, you can change CLI to config mode. As you can see, we got warning because we used live version. We have to install VOS on disk. Install.
image enter you can follow wizards step like me Let me remove CD-ROM from virtual machine. Log into config mode. We don't get earlier warning message because we used installed version at this time. Because virtual machine is in running state, I cannot remove CD-ROM. So I am going to power off VM and after that remove CD-ROM. Start VM again. Change CLI to config mode. At first, I have to start SSH service and after that set the IP address on management interface to connect to this router by using any SSH client software. Set question mark service question mark Set service SSH. Enter. To apply configuration, write commit and press enter. Now set the interface IP address. Set interface Ethernet ETH0. address 10.100.0.151 slash 24 enter before commit to apply the change test the ping
Ok, IP address is set on the router. As you can see in the topology, I need 7 router. I configured these routers before and try to continue from these routers. I installed that VS router for a test. To avoid waste time, I prepared this before taking the video. Ok, now I am connecting to all of my routers. By using show interface, you can check IP address on the interface. Interfaces that start with 10.10 .10 is our topology IP addresses and 10.0 is management interfaces that I connect to these routers from SSH. To view configuration, use show configuration in the CLI mode. These are default configuration. Let's create a loopback interface. Edit interface. Set loopback LO address twenty dot twenty dot twenty dot one five six slash thirty two commit. In my topology, at Backbone we use OSPF as an internal routing protocol. Right exit to exit from interface config mode. Set protocol OSPF area zero network ten dot ten dot two zero four dot zero slash twenty four and twenty dot twenty dot twenty dot one five six slash thirty two. One of that is physical interface subnet, another is loopback interface. We use loopback IP address for BGP and MPLS connectivity. I want to change router ID. Let me find the configuration syntax. Set protocol OSPF parameters router ID twenty dot twenty dot twenty dot one five six. Commit to apply configuration. Configuration loopback and OSPF on Configure loopback and OSPF on 157 router, as you can see in the topology. In this router, we have two physical interface and one loopback interface to run OSPF on them.
commit. Save. Now same thing on another router. I forgot to set the router ID on router 157. Set protocol OSPF parameter router ID to any 157. To view status of router like a Cisco or another routers you can use show command. But take attention every show command does not executable from config mode. Exit Show IP root You can see other routers loopback interface IP address here that learn by OSPF protocol. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it informative and if you did don't forget to give a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below sharing your thoughts or any question you might have. If you not already subscribed to my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our feature content. And remember if you enjoyed this video there is a good chance your friend and family will too. So don't hesitate to share it with them. Sharing is caring.